Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a new banana pie today with the walnuts. I have found this wonderful smoothie with walnuts and bananas and lemons and coconut milk and the texture was so amazing I thought wow that could be a filling for a cake. Right away I begin. Now uh, this is my form that you have an idea um, of the size you know here 20 centimeters not really and I line it with parchment paper also on the sides because this is a very inexpensive form you see and uh, the, the black color sometimes dissolves and so it's better to, to, to protect it. If they are new that is good but after a while they dissolve and I will buy a new one and a little bit more money. There are lots of spring forms and inexpensive ones. Sometimes I use them, use them due to the size and the other thing is here the parchment paper also gives a nice shape to the tart and uh, the pie. I've tried that before and well it's not bad. It has double effects. So I begin with the crust as usual. I have the food processor fitted with the S-plate. This is the S-plate so called and it's perfect to process nuts and dates for example in a sticky dough. You have two cups of de de uh, almonds and I begin with the almonds only that um, saves a little bit of time. <laughs> now this is a, you see, a meal, a coarse meal. That's all I need for now. And now I can add my dates. I have here 15, 16 dates or so. That is a good measurement um, because it needs to be a sticky dough. That's why the dates, the more dates, the stickier, the easier to, blend, to process and the sweeter. Yeah. And um, so it is a nice measurement for me. And I have some cinnamon here, a tablespoon of cinnamon. And that goes also into the pros into the into the dough. Again, a nice little dance to begin, and I come back in a moment. Sticky dough is ready. This is my sticky dough. Again, I show you. Yeah, pressing it together with the fingers should keep together. That is sticky dough. So that makes it easier now afterwards for the cake to keep together. You cut a piece out of the cake, you don't want to lose it. <laughs> it so it doesn't really matter, but it is nicer. Yeah. So now I put everything, all the sticky dough goes into the spring form. I have the nice tool here that comes with the food processor, allows me to get in every corner of the container they're very versatile. That's important. If I get my new instruments, my tools for the kitchen, I always check in for the tools that come with it. That's important. So now I spread it evenly, the sticky dough into the spring form, because then when it's evenly spread, then I can begin to press it down into a crust. First I have to spread it evenly. And then after a while, and begin to press it down firmer and firmer and until it is firm. I come back in a moment. You don't need to watch all of this, it's always the same. <laughs> I'll show you in a moment. My crust is done. Yeah, you see, looks nice. It's firm and even. And I will put it aside and now I will quickly make the filling and the cake is ready. Very simple. It's a banana walnut cake, I told you, and I have, um, in addition to the walnuts, I have a base of bananas, seven bananas here for this 20, 20, 20 centimeter spring form, and two lemons. Yeah, that's a lot of lemons, but seven bananas, medium size, they should be okay with this. Um, I put first the lemons in, yeah, because they are softer in, easier for the blades to work through. And then I put the bananas on top 
and um, and the coconut milk. Now, I, I begin with this. I don't need to have too much of the coconut milk, but I want a little bit for the flavor and the texture. Here, coconut milk, yeah, keeps in the fridge for three days. How to make it? I show you another video uh, linked under this video. So just a cup of so goes in, and. And I begin the first blending because the walnuts, um, I put them in when the, when the first blending is done. This is a full blender almost. I will make it a little bit less by blending and then I add the other ingredients. <laughs> Because I'm a little bit concerned when I put the walnuts here, or oh, one and a half cups of walnuts or so, but put that in the whole uh, liquid, then it might take a little bit longer to blend them. But that's not a, not a biggie, just making batches that is easier for the walnuts to blend it now. <laughs> here yeah. when there's too much liquid in the blender then the, the, the hard stuff that might swim on top and then the blades don't get it so it's good when you have nuts to minimize the content of the blender so the last ingredients to make sure that will be a, um, a filling that is firm and it can cut the filling is coconut oil here, liquefy, a little container here, metal container, swimming on a water base, hot water, and so the coconut oil melts in minutes. Yeah. And when it goes into the refrigerator, it firms up again, and together with the oil, the whole filling fills up, uh, firms up. And that's what I want, a nice filling for the cake. It's firm and can be cut into pieces. So now the last blending, and then I have the filling ready. <laughs> You see the crust? Here's the filling. Goes all onto the cake, onto the onto the crust. See now I will help a little bit with the scraper. Don't I? That I don't. Um, nothing stays in the blender, in the container. Otherwise, it would be a pity. <laughs> Someone trying to come in. I won't allow it now, I have it work. Yeah, my neighbors will open it, no problem. So, that's pretty much it. Now, yeah, that's, I don't even need to do anything. I hope that will firm up with the coconut oil, you see. This is my cake for now. You see a nice a walnut banana filling. And we'll put that into the refrigerator now. First I put a foil on top. That nothing can fall on the, fall on the onto the cake. Then we'll uh, put it in the refrigerator to fill it, firm it up. And when once it's firm, I might I think about it. Um, uh, sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon powder on top to give it a nice um, third layer. I will see to that. Maybe I show you. So far, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and um, if you like, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe and we leave on YouTube. Have another video every single day. 
and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Hi friends, the day later and my banana pie is done, it is firm. I will show you now how to open it. You see, I told you before I left you here, I had this foil on top uh, to keep something from falling on the, on the cake. And here you see the foil. And also, there are no water puddles now on the cake surface. That is not so nice. The water puddles, they are not very helpful, especially if I want to put something on top of the cake, like I show you now. So this is the foil, and this is the surface of the cake. It's a nice surface, and looks like, like, a, like a banana cream should look like. And now I open it, yeah, uh, and you see I have this um, parchment paper also on the outside, uh, at the sides, not only the bottom. And that should now help me to open the cake. Let's see if, I, if it works. Yeah. An experiment, I open the spring form and I'll see what happens. Careful. Yeah, that works. Yeah, the main thing is when I open the spring form, the cake can fall apart, it can crack, crack open. But that's why usually I take a little knife here and drive outside. To keep um, the sides from the, of the cake from sticking to the form, but with the foil here, with the parchment paper, then it's easier. So let, let's now take off the cake, um, the, the spring form. I have to open here the parchment paper from the form here, and now I can take the form off. You see. This form has some um, problems here. You see, that is uh, the color that goes off from the form into the cake. And that's why I use this foil, uh, this, um, this parchment paper on the outside. Um, I will have to buy a new spring form. As long as I have, the, as the, have this one, I can help myself with the parchment paper. So I take the parchment paper off now. And... Um, you see, I have the sides here of the cake, looks nice. And I will put now something, well I have some, some brown parts here, I take them off with a knife, make it nicer. Like this, yeah that's easy. When the cake gets a little bit of color, yeah, from the form, from the spring form, I just, I just take the knife and take a little bit off the sides. That's no problem. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, easy to do. And not that much anyway. So, to make it nice. And now, I will put the cinnamon on top, as a top layer, to make it more beautiful. And the cinnamon, of course, fits perfectly together with the banana cream. It adds a wonderful flavor to the banana. It's perfect. And to do so, I have two things to mention. First. There are different kinds of cinnamon. That's not so important, but I always take the Ceylon cinnamon from Sri Lanka, from Ceylon, uh, because there is a, a chemical substance, a nutrient in the cinnamon, in some uh, kinds of cinnamon more than others, and the one from Sri Lanka, from Ceylon, has less of it. And this, if you eat a lot of cinnamon, it can make your heart race a little bit. Now, that's not so good. It had been proven in the 50s when in Germany all the bakeries uh, made the cinnamon rolls. They loved it. And then the science found out there's a problem because if you have too much of it, um, then you have the heart racing. And it's not too bad. It's not, not that bad, but um, um, it was a problem for the bakers because uh, the silent cinnamon is a little, a little bit more expensive. That was the thing. And so they had a science, um, science finding out that. From, since then we know that silent cinnamon is a little bit better. So I have a sieve here, a little sieve, to spread the cinnamon as a powder evenly. I put it directly on the cake. I have different, different uh, little here, little hill of cinnamon, and there a little hole. So with the, with this um, tool, a very simple tool, uh, a tea filter, I can do it like this. You see, it's very simple. And I have everywhere the same amount 
of cinnamon on top. And um, I have to wait now until, to, until now, until the, the surface of the cake is dry, the, the filling is firm. Then I can begin to do, put the cinnamon on top. Otherwise, the cinnamon would soak into the cake and I wouldn't have a nice surface again. Uh, that is then all um, looks strange when the cinnamon gets um, wet from the filling. And so this way is a very nice way. I kind of put a fair amount of cinnamon on top until everything is um, covered and the rest of the cinnamon I can put back into the container. So, show you the cake again. And the next would be a serve it to my friends. Here is my banana cake with the cinnamon um, top. And cut out a piece and serve it and then enjoy. Now, this is my banana cream pie ready to enjoy. Wouldn't you like a piece?